What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Big thank you for coming back and joining me. Another video right here on YouTube. So recently I have started delving into the world of tactic testing. I've been downloading some of the weird and wonderful tactics that are out there on the internet. Putting them all through a single season sim to see how they are getting on. In today's video I'm going to be bringing you another full power tactic testing. And that means we're going to put a tactic through its paces using Paris Saint-Germain, Manchester City and Real Madrid. As always, we're going to show you the tactic, we're going to show you the in-possession, the out-of-possession, the in-transition, and then we're going to bring you those all-important results. Right, let's start off then with Manchester City. If we jump across their tactics tab, you can see that the tactic is called Symphony 3 times DMS, and basically you've got three defensive midfielders, although two of them are set to attack. So it's a basic 4-3-3, although it could be a 4-5-1, depending on how you want to look at the setup. So let's run through all of these positions then. So starting off at the back, you've got a sweeper keeper that is on support. You've got a complete wing back on the left hand side. Two ball playing defenders in the middle of the park. And on the right hand side, another complete wing back. Onto those three DMs. So in the middle, you have a deep line playmaker on support. On the left, a Segundo Volante that looks like this. On the right, another one that looks like this. On the left, you have an inside forward set to attack. On the right, you have an inside forward set to attack. And at the top of the pitch, you have an advanced forward set to attack. So as I said, it's called Symphony. It's a 4-3-3 come 4-5-1. Uh, its tactical style is a custom tiki-taka. Its mentality is attacking. Its in possession will look like this. Its in transition will look like this. And it's out of possession will look like this so that's the tactic that's all of the things you need to know and the positions broken down let's see how it got on in the hands of manchester city by going to the competitions tab and we can see that manchester city have won the premier league with 100 points finishing nine ahead of liverpool they were knocked out in the semi-finals of the champions league by real madrid who are running the same tactic they won the fa cup they were knocked out in the third round by Brentford in the Carabao Cup, which is a little bit surprising. And they beat Liverpool in the Community Shield at the start of the game. So if we have a little look at that, you can see they won 3-1 in the Community Shield. In the FA Cup, they got all the way to the final where they beat Liverpool 1-0. And if we break the Premier League campaign down by going to the Stages tab first, we can see that they played 38 games. They won 33 of them. They drew one lost four, scored 109 goals, conceded 31, giving them a 78 goal difference and 100 points on the board. A centurion season for them. They finished nine points ahead of Liverpool and 30 points ahead of Arsenal. Big shout out to Wolves finishing fourth on 68 points there. If we go to the profile screen of the competition, you can see Erling Haaland got himself 57 of those goals that were scored. He had an 8.34 average rating. Gomez getting 17 assists and De Bruyne at 11. Haaland picked up 23 Man of the Match awards out of a possible 38. Edison kept 16 clean sheets. Ruben Diaz was on the yellow cards list with 12. And they had nothing in the bottom three sections down here. So a fantastic start to the tactic test. Manchester City winning both the Premier League and the FA Cup. They also added on the Community Shield. And let's switch over and have a look at Paris Saint-Germain. You can see they have also won their league. They have won the league by 24 points, as they rightfully should. Um, if we break it down a little bit further then, you can see that they have won league at Uber Eats. They finished runner-up in the Champions League. but They did win the Coupe de France and they won the Trophée des Champions. Let's have a little look at who they beat in that. So they beat Nantes 2-1 in the Trophée des Champions. In the Coupe de France, they got all the way to the final and they beat Monaco 3-0 in that. In the Champions League, is there a spoiler here? There is a spoiler here. PSG got all the way to the final and lost to another team running this tactic in Real Madrid. So Real Madrid have knocked out both um, Manchester City and PSG in the Champions League. So we already know they have won the Champions League. If we break down the Liga 1 Uber Eats though, going to the stages, we can see that they have played 38 games, winning 32 of them, 
drawing three, losing three, scored 118 goals, conceded only 27, giving them a 91 goal difference and 99 points. If we go to the profile page, we can see that Neymar got 36 goals and Bappe 30. Neymar had a 7.66 average rating and Bappe 7.61 and Messi 7.38. Messi got 15 assists, Neymar got 14. You had Neymar in 11 player of the match awards and Mbappe on 7. Donnarumma had got 15 clean sheets. Mendes got 13 in terms of yellow cards. And at the bottom down here, you've got Hakimi on 4.76 dribbles per 90 minutes. So we've got Paris Saint-Germain doing a treble, well, a double, if you count the Trophy de Champion, a domestic treble. They got all the way to the final of the Champions League, and we already know the winners of that. So let me switch over. Real Madrid have won their league as well. They have won the league by five points from Barcelona. We know already they have won the Champions League, beating PSG 3-2 in the final. They also won at the UEFA Super Cup. Let's have a little look at that. They beat Frankfurt to start the season 3-0. And they finished runner-up in the Copa del Rey, losing to Atletico in the final 3-0. We break down the Liga Santander and have a little look at the stages tab. We can see that they have played 38 games, winning 32 of them, drawing three, losing three, scoring 128 goals, which is impressive. 31 conceded, giving them a 97 goal difference and 99 points, winning the league by five from Barcelona and finishing 24 points clear of Atletico Madrid. If we go back into the profile page, we can see that Karim Benzema was their top scorer with 26 goals. Vinny Junior had got 7.47 average rating. Benzema, 7.42. Eda Militao, 7.38. Tony Cruz getting 15 assists, Vinny Jr. 13 assists, Benzema with 6 player in the match awards, Nacho getting 10 yellow cards. If we go back to the overall tab, we can see what a fantastic tactic this has been. We have Manchester City winning a domestic double, PSG winning a domestic double with Man City also winning the Charity Shield and PSG, the Trevi de Champion, so you could technically say they both won trebles. And then we have Real Madrid winning La Liga Santander, the Champions League, and the UEFA Super Cup. Absolutely fantastic. I think the tactic has done wonders, certainly in the high power profile of team. And I think it's one that you could download and plug and play. Maybe you need one or two position tweaks. Maybe the Segundo Volantes are going to be something that you need to really look at. But on the whole, I think this is a tactic that's going to do really, really well. Right, if you're with me at this point of the video, firstly, a big thank you. Secondly, if you haven't hit the like and subscribe button already, please consider doing so. Support on the channel has been unreal the past couple of months. Really cannot say thank you enough. All the support everybody has given, the comments, the likes, it's all really helped the channel to grow. Before you go, don't forget to check out the rest of the channel where there is further tactic videos. There is hints, tips, tutorials, let's plays, rebuilds, a little bit of something for everybody on the channel. But for this one, I'm going to leave it there. A big thank you for watching. I'll see you on another video soon.